Everyone hope everything is going well. Over here is a screenshot of what is in, not a screenshot, but this is just from Sports Card Radio's video. And the thing is, Blaze pulled four one out of ones in one week. The Nebula, one out of one. People have said, I think Coach Co's video, Instagram, said he's never seen this. A lot of people haven't seen this. Who did Blaze get in a week? Could just be a coincidence. I don't know at this point. Seems a bit some hanky pankies going down. Victor Rabinyama, Anthony Edwards, Lamella Ball, Tyrese Maxey. Interesting. Four one of ones. Bounties on a couple of these cards as well. That's just weird. Totally weird, in my opinion. And we know what happened with that uh, sports card radio expose over two years ago, or close to two years ago where breakers were able to spot boxes that had picks in them, hot picks, hot cards in there. Those are loaded boxes, and there's a way to identify it, and people broke the code. I'm not saying it happened here, but this is weird. This is weird. All right, I'm looking at Dr. Collectible now. Now, Dr. Collectible, he's been nice to me. Let's just... Put that out there. He also has worked on many projects in the past. Definitely a talented guy. However, over here, this is not an attack on Dr. Collectibles. This just seems weird to me. Now, it could just be a coincidence. I wanted your opinion on that. Take a look at this video where he's at David Adams opening some Panini cards. Go off the first rip! Yo! Alright, I'm out. I'm out. Hey, don't hey, start your recording. The hot hand! Yo! Oh! My! God! Yo! What? I cannot... The hot hand! The hot hand! Okay. Alright, so if you go to the video, he's talking about the hot hands getting these cards this web and yama card this is not a base card obviously this card i wouldn't know what it would catch on the open market right now because markets are so illiquid in these cards however it would sell for a substantial amount and then he pulls this what anthony edwards autograph these are both from panini by the way this looks like this looks weird. Totally weird, in my opinion. Now, it could be a coincidence, but there are Dave and Adams. And we know that Panini, there's always hanky-panky going around with Panini. Look at Sports Card Radio's video a few years ago about loaded boxes and being able to look at a number on the back to identify which could have some decent cards or not. You could identify a hot box or not. Now the question is, someone like Dave and Adams, are they able to identify hot boxes? And then on top of it, they could get an influencer like Dr. Collectibles to pull these nice cards. I don't think it's a hot hand. And this is no disrespect to Dr. Collectibles. Once again, he's been nice to me in the brief interactions that I've had with him. This just seems weird. I'm just going to tell you straight up. It seems weird. Fanatics had to try to, or try to shut up people like me and others with their audit via KPMG. Now, I don't believe that audit was accurate because I don't think they're looking at marketing. What about in a situation like this? I've showed you many examples in previous videos. Example, I'll tell you again. When Chasing Cardboard gets a Mike, Tra Mike Trout acetate card, 
pulls that over a year ago or has a kid pull that out and wow it's over a thousand dollar card and Chase and Cardboard said I've never seen it and in the beginning of the video he said thank you Tops for giving me the product that just seems weird this seems weird again could be a coincidence though let me know hot box or not talk to you later see ya bye